All right, we're here for sideboarding. I'm just taking out these Valor Stances because, uh, well, in game one, he doesn't have anything for me to kill. They're all token creatures. I'm just kind of upgrading them to better protection spells. Inspiring Call, which gives all my creatures with a counter on them indestructible, and it's a good source of card advantage where I otherwise really don't have any in the deck. And Feeder Resistance is pretty good, too. Um, if Valor Stances protects uh, against, like, destroy effects, like Ultimate Price and, like, his Obnixilus, Feeder Resistance solves all the problems, including, like, Silk Wrap and... Uh, with an exile thing, utter in sometimes. But yep, that's it. Okay, for me, I'm cutting on the so I'm on the draw this game, and I'm cutting two painful truths, a sorn, and a secure the waste. Uh, truce I think is just too much damage on the draw. He can have two a very aggressive start and punish me for having this card. Uh, likewise, I think that secure the waste is not that great against him because he has a lot of cards that trample or fly, so it's hard for me to use this as a removal spell. And if I'm cutting a secure the waste, I also want to cut one of the Sorens. Um, bringing in more remo removal and sweepers, which seem good against him. And then a Dragonlord Silm Guard. Doesn't seem like he has a lot of removal spells. And this can uh, steal one of his important creatures. And at worst, if he's killing it with Valor Stan or um, Dramokas Command, it has Death Touch, so it at least trades with the guy. The creature he's, he's uh, commanding. Yep. Uh, so we're going we're gonna to board like that. And... Uh, in a game where I'm on the play, I'm probably going to side up my knights because they're an ineffective creature against him. And I'll bring in some of these cards again. So. We're here for game three. He, BBD showed me how he sideboards, um, but I like to choose to draw against Night of the White Orchid decks when I know that they're expecting to be on the on the draw. So, in, in the I don't know, interest of fairness, I'm just going to roll a die, see if I uh, play or draw. So, even I'll, I'll play. Or solid. All right, I'm gonna draw. Okay. So I'm on the play, and uh, yeah, this hand is actually really good. So I'm gonna keep it. I have slow-ish, but I have all my pieces. Okay. All right. Let's start with Prairie Streams. I go. How can I manage a turn four good play? Probably can't. Go. All right. And that was a good draw, too. Good play hanger for one. You're up. All right, if this drawing stuff don't work, so I'm going to start playing. <laughs> I guess that that is one of the things about Knight of the White Orchid is it really punishes your opponent a lot. Uh, because, see, here I'm on the play, and I just, just didn't even draw a knight. So I just actually just get to be on the play for free. Um what do I want to do? A slow plays Avatar? Although I really probably shouldn't play that swamp, but. Yeah, I'll just play that. Go. Hardened Scales, okay. So now here, I'm just going to play another hanger back for one. And I'm just going to immediately level this and say go. I'm at 18 from pain damages. No islands in here, just the one prairie stream. Alrighty. If I have a good play. Hmm, that's not a good play at all. But. Okay. Think here. I think I just cast this thing. Sure. Yeah, your turn. All right, so that pretty much prevents me from making the play that I would have otherwise made. That was a good draw. The silk craft is okay. If I draw a land next turn, I'm I'm good shape too. Yeah. So I was planning on playing this, but I can't play that into a mana gorger hydra. So instead, I'm just going to silk wrap his uh, hydra, and then I'm going to just immediately level these two creatures. So. One goes to three, one goes to two. Okay. Dank. Oh, wait. That's kind of okay. Um, see. Sure. Uh, go. So now my game plan is going to revolve around these two cards, along with what I have in play. Although he may have a very, very stubborn denial for me. That was a good one. Wow, that's another good draw, too. That could be a, a very good one. Uh, I'll fetch. So we go to 19. And here, 
let's see. I guess I've already drawn all my prairie streams. So I just have to go to plans. I'm going to play a Gideon. Alright. He ally of Zendikar, and I'll make a Knight ally and take out. Okay. So I'm going to put a counter on this and make the sacrifice enchantment. Yeah, that's pretty good. So this will turn into two counters. My fellow's back. Alright. Mm -hmm. Now what? I'm not not going off. I'll cast this fella, which will get. That'll happen first, then it'll C2 and get bumped up to 3. Yep. And I have this, like, 4 4 thing. <laughs> that kind of wants to attack. I think just converting it to Mana Gorge Hydra might be better. I might just die to an emblem plus all these tokens. That's also possible. There's a relevant concern. Alright, whatever, your turn. Alright, I'll level up the smaller one, I guess. Okay. Not sure which one I'm supposed to level up, but. Draw. Okay. Um, so now what do I do? I think my Gideon's gonna die next turn. He has a lot of trampling creatures. So I think I just make an emblem now before uh -oh. I lose the ability to do that forever. Uh oh. Alright. Because I want two suits and hammer tokens. Um, and then I can't attack and I'll just say go. Man, my mom always cast one spell a turn. So you go to 17? Yep. So I need more blue, more white. Because you only have, yeah, you only have one basic, so. I guess I will unsuspiciously, well, I need to cast that first. No, it's probably overkill. again. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, go. Alright, uh, so I'm gonna level both of my hangers up, and then I'm going to ultimate price your big mana gorger hydra. Am I cool with that? Probably. Yeah, probably. I should have attacked you. Probably that's, should have. That's another. That's a. Well, I hate playing spells because it powers up his uh thing, but I'm gonna play a Gideon. All right. And here I'm just going to make another knight, another three three knight, and say go. Could I have just killed you this whole time? Maybe. Yeah. Need a land. I think kill you. All right. Well, I'm at 19, so if you can kill me, I'll be very sad. <laughs> I guess uh, you have the flying thing. I do have flying thing. I don't know if that kills me. Six, ten. I cast the hardened skills real quick. Seven. Oh yeah, it probably kills me then. And cast flying thing. So this is ten, six, it's twenty. All right, get some. Yep, I'm dead. Did All you right. have stubborn denial? Yep. Okay, I had this the whole time, but. I was pretty sure he had stubborn denial, so I couldn't go for it. I also had this. If I'd drawn a land, it would have been very good. Yeah, I was scared of that. Can't eat it. 